video. Today I'll be looking at the World Utilities add-on for Minecraft. Now this one is paid, unlike the Gravestone one. And I played around with it a little bit in the survival world, but there wasn't much I could do uh, with it because I still... Well, because, um, also, yeah, with this, you don't get uh, the books. Okay, just on the well, what you need to do to get the book uh, that shows off this mod, you need to die. Which, you know. Oh. Why don't I find a way of breaking your hand if you can put them in your hand? Yeah. Uh, you need to die and then it'll give you. Here we go. And we got the guidebook. Yeah. Now I gotta sort out my inventory again. Get the ammo. Craft a guidebook. A book, a wooden pickaxe, a wooden shovel, a wooden axe, and a wooden sword. I could have sworn that wasn't in this last time I uh, looked at it, but yeah. Or you could just die. It gives you a new one every time you die, which, yes, can get annoying if, you, like, if you're like stuck in a death loop and you have like a million of these. Uh, good thing this gives you the void chest, which is the first thing we'll be looking at, which is. Uh, Seven magma, a chest, and a lava bucket. Seven magma, a chest, and a lava bucket. I should have all that in my storage area down here. Let's see, magma blocks should be. Yeah, this is. There we go. Seven of these. Seven. Seven of these. magma. Uh, it said a lava. I've already forgotten. A chest and a lava bucket. Chest, lava. Alright, always. So, I don't have any lava buckets to hand, but I can. Uh. Get iron and. Yeah, buckets and buckets. Lava. This one is probably going to be a bit longer than, uh. Last uh, one because the um, gravestone was just a shorter video, uh, you know, hard to look into. Where where is like one feature, but this adds multiple stuff, and each one's gonna take me a bit longer to uh, get. This last one, I just had to die, and if you didn't know, I'm real good at dying in this game. I did an entire live stream. I didn't watch them. I'm not quite comfortable having to watch the live stream. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I think it is the best thing. More like the best thing. I can use it. If I'm doing something grinding in a video game, I might put a podcast or a camera on in the background and listen. So here we go, the first item in this uh, showcase is a void trash can. Right click it, we put something in. And once we close it, it's gone forever. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that is the item. Uh, yeah, come about, blah, blah, place item in the menu. Item, simply put your items in the menu, close it, and your trash is gone. Uh, let's see if we can pop them into it. Uh, let's go in chest, uh, let's pop this in here, let's go in the bar, let's 
grab a hopper. individually and this is yeah this is all right it's just like yeah I am in the hall probably um so yeah it is uh, handy to have because you know there's always like some garbage or whatever that like, you don't want like rotten flesh or spider's eyes man you can put the spider's eyes away Uh, I've had trouble with like, having two my wolf I've been to uh, productive times, so there are certain cases that you can put, there are certain use cases for it, but I I personally don't like the look uh, of it, it doesn't look very Minecrafty. if you, I mean there's a mod so obviously it's not going to look super Minecraft. but there's also, like, maybe if you have like, um, if you have like a more like modern like American style house, um, way too quick. If you have any like an, a modern American style house, I think it would actually look uh, good outside because uh, it's just like. Americans in real life, they have tra the, style of, the style of trash can just like flopped outside the house, so you could do something like that. I don't have an American style house, so it uh, would be super hard to make it look good in my world, really. Um, but yeah. yeah, but yeah, no, in England we don't have these. Uh, in England we have these like um, big, like rectangular ones on wheels. Or. Um, but we do have those, uh, we also do have those, something like the, those like big, like in, big like industrial ones. Not, not from me, yeah, or you do need them in but like one, you know, those really big ones. But we don't, they're not made out of metal, they're also made out of plastic and uh, the lids go up on a hinge rather than sliding to the side. Um, um, anyway, on to the next item. Uh, what shall I check out? Let's, let's check out the corner. So, is four iron ingots, one obsidian. Well, iron I've got plenty of. But obsidian is another point. Uh, probably be in here. Yeah, obsidian. Now, this is probably the most OP item in this entire thing. Like, um, I mean, you can like judge for yourself, but um, like at the end of the video, oh wait, I can use the zombie spawn. Uh, yeah, yeah, stop going into my. You don't even work in my offhand. Uh, no, yeah, there he is. So, the spawner witch, I'm pretty sure you just... Destroy, destroy, zombie, boom. Yeah, you just dish, you can use it to pick up uh, spawners. And now I've got a zombie spawner. And I actually have... I'm going to show how, it, how, why this is useful because... If I fly over here, ow! 
I, I have a uh, mob, a skeleton spawner over here already set up, uh, which I use to make stuff. Which is why the armor did those here, because I want to get rid of wolf armor. Um, let's scan this all. I don't know why you're laughing. Oh, no. Well, you're in the wolf armor. We well, yeah, just like to take these spawners. And just. Because um, you can just like go around the world, but uh, like gather up a bunch of different mob spawners and then just like put them all in one location, and then you have, you have like a set tuple or like you have like 10, 8, you know, however many mob spawners you want in a single location. Uh, which is pretty much the main thing which holds them back is the fact that you know you can't just. You know, have a bunch of them in one location very often. Yeah. That's why I think this is probably the most OP thing in this entire uh, mod pack, and probably why you might not want to add this onto a well, because like I said, if uh, um, if people uh, can just like pick up any mob spawner they want, and move it to wherever they want, then yeah, that's gonna uh, that's why I put um, exploitation. And there's also something else I wanna look at that I wanna test real quick. Um, yes, everything in this mod pack is quite expensive, and I will talk more about that at the end. But I wanna just so set block mob. But I need to have coordinates back, 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 mob, spawner. Now they say where I was looking for it, right? So, yeah, also, you could just like pick whichever spawner. So, it's only limited to the spawners that are in the game, but uh, this is currently a pig spawner. But now, if I break it and I say, oh, I want a, uh, I don't know, magma cube spawner, because I don't want to go all the way to a bastion. Yeah, magma cube spawner. I've now got a ma I've now got a magma cube spawner. So it doesn't actually drop the spawner that uh, yeah it is. It's just like destroying that block and uh, dropping uh, uh, a mob spawner for the selected. So that is also um, you could also exploit that. So, like say you got a zombie spawner. You Oh, I don't want a zombie spawner. As I say, it's a skeleton spawner or a spider spawner. Whichever spawner you prefer. Um, out of the uh, possible ones you can get. Also, I had a problem with my bolt. Crap them. And now my mom's back. They've changed up the iron golems. So yeah, that is a tad bit Um And there's really, no, they'd be, and I would really like advise like allowing this if you're like in a realm where like you know the people and you know that they're not gonna, they're gonna like stick to the wall to like, oh don't lie about which mob spawner they are. Yeah, the mob spawner that they are. Um, yeah, this could also be really useful for just like moving Bob spawners are in a um, annoying place, like the magma cube spawners are in quite an annoying place because again, it's bastion, so weird. So, yeah, uh, pretty OP in IMA IMO. But enough about that, let's move on to the next. Let's see. Okay, let's look into the vein miner and tree capture. Then we can leave. Iron ingots, two iron ingots, two uh, diamond pickaxes, two redstone. So two iron, two, uh, one diamond, one diamond pickaxe. Yeah, one diamond pickaxe, two, so two iron pickaxe, redstone. 
Do iron. Do redstone. And a diamond. Vein miner. So, yep, vein miner active, vein miner deactive. Like so, yeah, I want to quickly just uh, grab my shovel. So, this should be Let me just uh, go through here because there's a little area here. Head to the Tap tap, tap tap. I'm actually going to do that for 80. Tap tap. And now let's do Gary. Um, tap tap. Boom. There we go. Don't know why I didn't wait the first time around, but there we go. So yeah, so it doesn't take silk touch. Oh no, this is fortune. Fortune and not so much. I wanted to test it out with silk touch to see if the blight that the ship enchants is like silk touch. Yeah, that that is a lot of diamonds. So, how many blocks did that fill? So 360 blocks. And that's let me get my calculator. That's 60. So that's 829, so yeah, I do think it is actually applying enchantment, so let's test with silk. Hmm. Did it with a fish, well, not the best one. This doesn't, so it might not apply them at all. Is that it? So I think... That's way more than 360. So I think it applies fortune, but it doesn't apply silk touch, and I don't. And I think if it's just like silk touch, then it just feels uh, like the normal ways of not uh, being enchanted, I guess. Ah, uh, let's actually take a look. What it is it? Activate vein miner, vein miner utility by interacting with the item once. Activated uh, mine in your and it will automatically break the entire vein for you. Interact again to disable this will not take into account your fortune level, but instead has a special ability to drop more. Ah, so it doesn't take fortune into account, but it does drop more ores. So I think it's a... L ah, yeah, so I think it's a... Um, medium. Uh, like a mid... 
Like, it doesn't um, drop as many as Fortune, but it still drops more than not being enchanted, I guess. So yeah, it's pretty powerful. And it does save time. Especially if it's in like copper, like if you're like in a massive like copper vein. Like save you a lot of time with that. Um, yeah, considering that the, the, the with this uh, costing uh, a diamond pickaxe and some iron and redstone, this is pretty good to be honest. Like, yeah, it, because of it's like basically being fortune on any like pickaxe, then yeah, I can see why uh, it costs. Materials. But the next one is three capitates. Just two iron and two redstone and a diamond axe. So it's basically the lap vein miner but with a diamond axe instead of a diamond pickaxe. And now uh, this is where I have criticisms about the cost because yeah, it's um It's three it's a diamond pickaxe, that's three diamonds from this. Which I don't think is necessarily Well I don't I don't want to say that it's not win because tree capitator is definitely very handy. But I think it definitely like limits how useful this can be. Uh, let me just get my di my diamond axe out of here. And uh, that's true. Nope, did I give myself a throwing chest? I guess I must have. Oh, yes, right here, Uh, Let's get some young bull in here. That. This I want to take a bit more, so that's okay. Bitch. Darko. Dahlia, some oak, spruce, and let's get an absolute symmetry union, which I uh, frankly have to stop because I turn the poppies from my uh, iron farm into oak. And I also have a skeleton farm. Um, so. Let's go easy. Eight. Anyway, let's go easy with it and try to wait for a couple of pitch. There we go. Small pitch. Smaller pitch. There we just make a bottom block and it's gone. Ah, so. And the trees, the leaves don't even decay rapidly as well. Like the main which is the It's not a deal breaker, but it is like kind of a uh, that's kind of okay, now let's see if we can get a big oak. Yes, yes. Oh, come on, big oak. Never get them when you want them, only when you don't want them. The rope. There we go, a big messy oak. Let's see how we got this. Oh yeah, that look yeah, that is a job. The leaves are leaves are decaying. And honestly, these oak trees are the reasons why I love Capitata as a mod. Because they're just annoying. And then to not get them you have to like build up like ten of them to them. Yeah. Uh, it's like, uh, it's quite nice to have to bother with them. Uh, let's do Dark Oak. And I'm sure it's gonna handle, like, a little bit of a bit. Don't wanna say that, and then I don't know what oh, I do. Yeah, and this is the reason why I want to reveal because it's testing the outer net on all the. So yeah, if we can handle like uh, the messy dark oak, 
the Hunty Oaks, and which are like kind of uh, handle like azaleas and acacias. Like acacias are legitimately like my least favorite tree because the the wood it's fine. Oh, it doesn't really work with azalea by the looks of it. I wonder why that is. Why why do you know Maybe it's a glitch with like azaleas with them being in, uh having azalea leaves and there's lots and stuff out certain lots maybe. Yeah, it doesn't work with azaleas, which honestly isn't is a bit of a negative point because they are a little bit messy. Um very fair well. Uh but yeah, like acacias. They're they're annoying to farm because they grow like very diagonally. And they're annoying to harvest. Well, I can uh, give myself some extra stress. Quick, uh, quick, 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 Okay, I'm going to have to get another one. Here we go. Does it work with Acacia? Yes, it does. And apparently that's the first time I've been in Acacia. I'm not surprised in the way. Don't like it. Like the wood itself is okay, it's just the saplings. How like, annoying the saplings are. That really puts me off. Now they grow. Uh, here's jungle lot. Jungle. Let's see if we can handle jungles. Messed up my grass. I keep forgetting about that. Chris, Chris just handles it fine. Now, uh, now let's talk about how expensive it is. Because unlike um, the vein miner, it doesn't give you any like special bonus. It just like makes it uh, chops down, makes chopping down trees quicker and easier, and it doesn't like apply anything like fortune. Which is the main reason why I was like okay with like the uh, vein miner one costing just so much. Um, but with uh, this, I, I really feel like it could you could um, just have a not as expensive recipe for it. Like if you even if like you, it's, oh it's too OP to be able to like chop down an entire two by two jungle one chop I was like okay then make it so that you can craft a lower tier one uh with say like an iron axe that can you know, chop down like large oak trees or um smaller trees and two by two trees but it can't like chop down the entirety of two by two, two tree but then you can craft up one of the diamond axe that to hand by two by two three. Like I feel like probably is the reason I have I I think with it just requiring a diamond axe is quite expensive. But not so expensive that I say it's not worth it at all, but because um 
over here. Uh, like a hill and just... I have a tree farm uh, designed by Silent Risk Builder, but that has a cube maker and like cube maker uh, log, so it's not like it's uh, only an early game thing, it can be. Game buzz, like, uh, it would be more useful early game and it would be nice to have available in the early game. So, I would definitely say this is a nice feature, but I definitely think, like, I, there are problems with that. I would definitely like an, an option for an early game. Crafting for the belt, crafting diamond axe. But yeah, like I said, not bad. Then just could be. Right, so now we're gonna get on to the new tools that they added, uh, and I put those two in this one. So let's go with the explosive pickaxe. There's just three TNT and two sticks. I should have the material, actually I might need to oh. It be, this is just mob drops. Did I put my gunpowder? Did I give it a sense? Okay, yes I did. There we go. So how much TNT do I need? I Three TNT, so that's five gunpowder per TNT, so that's fifteen. I can't remember which one it was that was five. I'm just gonna get fifteen of sand and gunpowder just. Oh. Uh where would sand be? Is that sand? That's in stone. And there's been a lot I've played on this world properly in survival. I might not remember where everything is. Wait, hmm. oh, Sam, right there. Oh, no, no, no. no, Lily, what? You're not even barking at anything. Bad Lily. Bad. Uh, there was two sticks. He's. Sorry. Right, three TNT. Yeah, it's five gunpowder. It's white. This. And now I have an explosive pack. Um. Here. Eve, I don't mind blowing up a little bit. Would help if I didn't fall off. That's actually the first time, I think, pretty sure that's the first time I've ever fallen off this. Of course, it was while I was on the camera recording a mod review. Oh, I know, the sheep's there. Yeah, the sheep, there's, the sheep got stuck here for ages. He's been there for ages and he's stuck there. At least I've been living in my water for a while. I just left him. I thought he was the spawn, but apparently no. He is the eternal sheep. Oh, I'm far enough away from my base now. Let's go try that. Let's try it in there and see how good it is at like Also I've noticed it doesn't have durability which is 
I also just did I change vein my nose? Having a way to vein. Oh, no, it doesn't. Pretty sure. Let's try uh, over here. Yeah, definitely way to vein my nose. Where am I? There they are. Running low on rockets. Here we go. There we have a creeper farm. There I somehow there's not a yet. Uh I'll probably like build them. Um, Well, I think Raul had a decent. Uh, oh, da. Rack is like really, really not glass because it's like I think it's not as bad as like glass, like glass is literally zero glass. Oh my god, why did I not? Ah, why was I too lazy? Just like mine, you extra. I made this my main priority. Look how far I had to go just to get down to a pit where I can. Legitimately, like, where's ever spawn I could have possibly got him. Can mine obsidian? Uh -huh. Nearly gave me a bleeding heart attack doing it, but you can do it. Yeah. Um. Not really the best. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, not back to the video. This is a bit of a mess. Huh? 
Yeah, on to the next item. Is I also need this. Next item is multi block pads. Uh, mine faster than ever and break multiple blocks at once. Notice that this tool cannot be enchanted or repaired. This tool has a special ability to drop more ore similar to three. It requires three diamond pickaxes and two sticks. Let's get crafting! Nine diamonds. One, two, three. Nine. Ten. Ah. Uh, two. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, three. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And one multi block pickaxe. Let's do something. Yeah, it's basically a hammer. It doesn't have durability, so you can keep mining forever. Oh. There's a hole here. Yep. Actually, three diamond pickaxes for an unbreakable Fortune 3 diamond pickaxe. It doesn't... It mines decently fast and it is mining in a 3x3 three three area, so I think it... I think that, um... Pretty quick. Uh, let's go test it on some deep sleep. I have a hole all the way down to deep sleep. I forgot which side it's on. This side. And it is in fact, it is literally like, yeah, Th this is pretty good, I, yeah, uh, I definitely get why they made this like cost three entire diamond, like nine diamonds, yeah, yeah, I mean if you're on a, uh, like, SMP, it might break the economy because it might just, now, mending books and fortune books are worth uh, my all you back on Oh, you all, um... Yeah, I, I would definitely recommend using this for mine. Obviously not, like, if you're working on the field, but then if you break some of them, here we are! On to the next one. Ender Frame Breaker. Which is like... Three Eyes of Ender, a Diamond Pickaxe, and an Ender Stone. Three Ender Stone, three Eyes of Ender, and a Diamond Pickaxe. Three, three... Three, three Diamonds, three uh, Eyes of Ender. <laughs> I have enough. And end down. And the tax. And there it is. End frame breaker. Right. My end is a bit far away, so I'm going to go take a little break, and I'll be back with you once I'm at the end. Alrighty then. And I'm back. Right, so. I've made my way to the end portal. Uh, let's get this in my hand. I was about to say there for now, but yeah. Bonk. Oh. Oh. 
It has 12 uses. I mean, it's been super expensive, so. I need to learn about how I get out. Well, actually, what I can do is just get this thing and then go through the portal. That's probably the quickest way. Oh. If I hadn't, it would have been if I hadn't just removed the end portal. That's really not something you think about, like the end portal being removed in, the, in Minecraft. Because, like, honestly, in mods, I don't even think there's that many mods that allow you to remove the end portal frames. It's like one of those. Things that you can really tend to think about. Yet here I am trying to find my way out of the. I got a particularly bad one. If I remove a lot of dead ends, so uh, this is going to take me a little while to get there. Probably. I could just mine up. I don't expect it though, I could do I just have a habit of just doing things. things up there, boy. I'll be back when I'm at my base again. Right, here I am back at the base. Got the 12 end pulse frames and I cheated myself in 12 eyes of ender just in case. Yeah, no, I didn't think they could be taken away. So, an important thing to remember when you're placing end portals is that end portal frames that you need to stand in the center so that they all face you. Otherwise, they will not work. At least that's how they use that. Uh, I don't know if they still have to. No, but I'm gonna say it's so because. Yep. I never really checked. Can this man have seen? Yeah, but it's still a bit slow. Oh, probably still faster than with the text, so... Right, so yeah, um... This item is not very expensive, but it's also not that like, uh, Things like if you want to move an end portal frame, then yeah, it's going to be good for you. But if you if you're not really bothered about that way end portal frame place, then you're not going to use this. Um, but it could also be used for like healing the uh, realms and stuff. So I would definitely be careful. But, uh, there's not really much to it. Hey, like I said, if you want to make the end portal frame, it's useful, but other than that, it's not useful. Now, only two. This takes six honey blocks, a diamond axe, a pickaxe, and a diamond shovel. So I'm just going to choose the honey blocks real quick. If at the honey I don't have a honey block. Right? That's six, right? Yeah, six. And then there's a diamond axe, pickaxe, and shovel. Is that night hall, and this is basically what what it says. It says it does what it says on the tin basically. Uh, optimize your inventory space with this all-in-one tool. This uh, enables you to break any block as if you were using a pickaxe, axe, or shovel. This tool has a uh, special ability to block all or Yeah, 
It's basically where the diamond patch Alright, yeah, it's nice. I would definitely use it instead of a diamond pickaxe. But I still think the uh one is better blown out of the nice. Yeah, but I was fast as a diamond axe without uh, any uh, form of efficiency. Uh, we can try out some dirt here. Yep, fast as a diamond axe. Now, what I say is it. I'd say this is, yeah, I'd say this is definitely better than a diamond axe, pickaxe, or shovel, obviously. Yeah, I still, like, I think the multi-block tool would be, like, my go-to, go-to for, like, strip mining, and just, like, clear, clearing a large area. There's a bunch of stuff. Yep. Uh, they have just been digging stuff and not really thinking about it, about where they were going. Oh, well. Ah, I'm stuck. There we go. Um, but I would definitely use the Omni tool if I was like building and you know just needed to do like mine a block or two by actually in place or something. Um. Yeah. So, and this mod wasn't like, uh, mod pack wasn't like really expensive either. It was, um, as you can I think it's like, oh, I can't remember how much it was, but it was like only a few couple of quid. And like, yeah, I had the like spare, mine, I had mine called the spare. Uh, and you can set my account, so I thought, yeah, I might as well get it. So I wanted to take it out. Um, so it's not a lot, and I would definitely, uh, yeah. It, like, obviously if you liked what you saw in the uh, picture, you definitely should pick it up. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely would recommend it. Like I said, my only like re my only real problem with this is the captator uh, costing so much. Really, like everything else is pretty fine. Uh, yeah. And, like, uh, uh, yeah, I've pretty much said everything I want to say about all the features in this tree captator. But I, I've, as somebody who has, like, looked into tree captator, because it's definitely one of my favorite, like, quality of life mods, uh, this is definitely a really good tree captator, because there are, like, some tree captators that just don't handle, like, uh, two by two trees, like, at all. Um,. Well, it is a little bit disappointing that it doesn't get to handle, that it can't handle Azalea. It can get Azalea's pretty well. Um, I think it's fine. But what I am going to do, uh, real quick, is I'm going to sort out my inventory and all these blocks. Try it with my, uh, try the tree calculator with my pupa maker, because if it works with pupa. Yeah. Well, uh, 
it'll take me a few minutes. I'm not going to do it on the camera. So I'll be back in a minute to let you know whether or not it works with the cube maker. And I'm back once again to quickly test to see if the tree capitator works with the cube maker of my tree farm. Tree capitator activated. So let's try the diamond axe. Okay, so it does tree capitator does not work with the cube maker, which is not good for tree capitator. I guess I guess the reason why would be the mod checks for it, you know if there's leaves uh next to it. How's that? I'm being a bit laggy and I think that might be Yeah, no, 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 it's lagging now. So yeah, what I think is happening with this is that it's, it's checking to see if there's uh, a birch leaves within the vicinity, um, and if uh, there's not birch leaves near it, then it's just gonna uh, not uh, work because it because it's probably like a safety feature, so you don't like to capitate part of your house. Uh, would be nice to just see this entire cube of uh, uh, birch logs go up, and I know that I know the mod can do that because it does it with like vein miner. Ah. But yeah, it does not work with the cube maker. So yeah, like I said it's still nice to have, but would have preferred. Uh, to be able to get it without having to use up an entire diamond axe. Anyway, I hope you guys all did enjoy uh, this video because it 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 took a while. Um, to record this and well, you've seen everything that I've recorded and well, not everything. I, well, everything I recorded, but I need to go about to find. In portal thing because I forgot where it was. Um, so yeah, hope to see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one and bye bye. Bye bye.